We've been tracking a small herd of caribou not far from here. The herd bull in charge is called Double Shovel around these parts. He's yours if you can take him. He lives up to his name, too. Rack like a snowplow. Getting a shot at him won't be easy. Caribou are always on the move, and they usually travel in large numbers. You're gonna need patience, smarts, and good timing to get a good shot at Double Shovel. What is up everyone, Bo here from BZ Hub, bringing you another pro hunt here. Today we are hunting a caribou, it looks like, who we have, Hunt Double Shovel here with a recurve bow again, oh boy, what fun it was going the first time with a recurve bow. No penetration whatsoever, oh, and we're hit by hogs, oh, Hunter Call of the Wild, ah, oh, bastard. But let's get into it. Let's try it again. I did just get the 600 grain broadhead arrows, so this should be a little easy. Let's get in to the video. We picked out a pinch point by a river where we've seen other herds cross. If you dog it too long though, you're gonna miss your chance. The setup here is real simple. Get to that rock overlooking the river before the herd passes through. Easier said than done, right? Stick to cover as much as possible and watch your step. These caribou are skittish animals. Anything that sounds or smells out of place can set them off. The wind's at your back. That's gonna make your approach tricky, but there's not much you can do about it now. It's only a matter of time before that herd catches your scent. You need to bring down double shovel before somebody sounds the alarm. Good luck. All right, so we've got a massive caribou we're going to be hunting here. And we have caribou right across the water, and we're going to try to stick to these rocks here so that they don't hear us incoming. So let's see how far. It seems like, from what they said, it was a race against time. So we are just going to... Uh-oh, red alert. Good thing about these uh, hunts is that you get you get multiple chances. Looks like you've been spotted. Bastard. No. Close, but you got busted. When you get your chance, take it. You won't get another. Okay, so that was a good first try. <laughs> We're gonna rush into this again, here we go. So we can't go very far just walking in here, but we should be able to start crawling. We did make it up to the rock without them even knowing, and I think what also kind of we picked came out a pinch point by a river where we've seen other herds spotted. cross. So I didn't if you dog it too long, though, thinking you're gonna miss your chance. By. The setup here is real simple: get to that rock overlooking the river before the herd passes through. Easier said than done, right? Stick to cover as much as possible and watch your step. These caribou are skittish animals. Anything that sounds or smells out of place can set them off. The wind's at your back. That's going to make your approach tricky, but there's not much you can do about it now. It's only a matter of time before that herd catches your scent. You need to bring down double shovel before somebody sounds the alarm. Good luck. They all seem fine right now. As long as we can evade these bushes and stuff, we should be okay. Still drinking there. Still content with the water. Shoot, if I was drinking out of this stream, I'd be pretty content too. Good old clear mountain water there. I think we're pretty much in the clear now. We're up in these uh, rocks and we have the tripod right in front of us. Let's jump into that and prepare ourselves Quickly now, for find double your target. shovel. You don't have much time. Aim carefully now. Don't release until you know it's a sure shot. Ooh, 
All right, now it's just a waiting game. We've made it to our stand, and now Double Shovel <laughs> is going to arrive any time now. It's a winter is coming scenario. Double Shovel is coming. I swear. Any day now. Three seasons later. Four seasons later. Oh my god, finally. We are starting to see Caribou Crossing here. And I'm assuming... There we go, double shovel. He's a, he is a giant caribou, I will give him that. I mean, I've... I have been shooting caribou here, um, oh, in the past 15, 30 minutes or so, and I have not seen a caribou that large. So this is kind of the first pro hunt I've been impressed with. Right, is he going to stop, or are we going to have to take a shot on the wall? I'm assuming they're going to have him stop. There should be. Let's watch. Ooh. Ooh. Go in there. Rib. No. No. Just a flesh wound. That won't do it. You've got to get him broadside or quartering. <laughs> That's not going to hit him. Close. Oh, when that is. Busted, oh. When you get your chance, take it. How you did. Get another. Don't interrupt me. Oh, my gosh. You know, it's partly my fault because I got distracted the first time around trying to avoid the caribou. We've been tracking a sp Yep, I know. What annoys me is I skip this next cutscene and they continue to talk even though I skipped it. But I think, uh, I didn't switch to my 600 grain we arrow. We picked out a pinch sure. point by a river where we've seen other herds cross. If you dog it too long, though, you're going to miss your chance. The setup here is real simple. Get to that rock overlooking the river before the herd passes through. Easier said than done, right? Stick to cover as much as possible and watch your step. These caribou are skittish animals. Anything that sounds or smells out of place can set them off. The wind's at your back. That's going to make your approach tricky. But there's not much you can do about it now. It's only a matter of time before that herd catches your scent. You need to bring down Double Shovel before somebody sounds the alarm. Good luck! All right, so we're back again. Here are the caribou once again, but here is the biggest change I'm going to be making this time around. If you'll pay attention to the bottom right corner here. 600 grain broadheads. There we go. Now this shouldn't get stopped by some stupid rib this time. Though he is a pro hunt double shovel, so he's probably got magic or something. This is honestly probably one of Santa Claus's reindeer that these crazy ass hunters have named and now we're hunting it. All right, here's our chance. Right when it gets right up here, at least we don't have a caribou right in front of us this time. <sighs> On the money. On the money, double lung. Boom. Lung. Keep going. You know you can do it. Get it! Yep. Nailed it. Oh my gosh. Oh now my that's gosh. how you do it. Great shot. He's going down. Go check out your trophy. Okay. You said it. Wow. Double shovel. Look at the handlers on this guy. Giant. Giant. I love the fur in this game as well. 
the hair, fur, what have you. Giant animal, and look at our arrow just sticking out of there. Let's claim this guy. Look at that. 440 score, 1200 because of the double lung there. Pretty good. And as always, a video to end it. 12,200 gear credits. Way to go. You handled yourself like a pro out there. Well, he learned from the best. Congratulations. Those snowplow antlers are going to look great hanging on your wall. Those two are the nicest people ever. Okay, so what do we have next? I'll tell you the next one is going to be radar. It's a big old radar dish <laughs> antlers there, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. As always, this has been Bo from BZ Hub, hunting the pro hunts on Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts, and I'll catch you all in the next episode. See ya!